Whoa, it's the illusion reporting from somewhere on spaceship Earth. I'm at the garden trying to grow things. So this is garden number one. I fully got attacked by a gopher. It killed my big giant zucchini there. And then later that afternoon, it killed that one there. Just ate the roots. So I flooded it out and chopped it in half with my shovel. Got it. Dead gopher. And uh, battling, battling things, dude. Lots of, lots of wire going on. Trying to get some strawberries. Got some somethings right, right here. I don't know what that is. Not sure if it's a gopher or what, dude. Should we try to flood it out? Should we see? I don't know, man. So, um, it's been a, a battle. I should have my handy dandy shovel ready in case it is a gopher. So I was, uh, I've been battling to grow food, right? Interesting. See, look, it's filling up. The other one, they're interconnected. I wonder if we're going to get anything popping its little head up. So I've been, I've been battling to grow. So that hole connects to that hole. Not sure what lives in there. Something that doesn't want to come out. You can usually flood the gophers out. That's what I found out. That's the trick I know with the gophers is you can flood them out and then they kind of pop up out of the dirt disoriented and you got them. You got them. So um, I've been out here trying to grow, grow stuff. Become a... Try to grow things, right? And it's freaking impossible dude it's gnarly dude it's it's a battle with critters and i was just now like over there and i was like i gotta change the game right so i've been trying to i've been trying to grow food and the critters have been attacking it right so i gotta come out i gotta like like hunt things and wrap everything up and oh look at the bird doing his drums wrap everything up and and stuff like this is my new attempt to keep the rodents out is is these tunnels of of stuff the bug netting it seems to work but i gotta like cover everything at night to hope it gets a chance but if you were to look like that honey dude it's got a couple it's got a couple cantaloupes but it's getting chowed Right, so cr the critters are gnarly and I was having this. Here we look at the garden in the background. It, it looks better on film than it actually, I think I'm getting smoked production wise, but I was like, I gotta change the game, right? So I was like, I'm growing food and I'm having to like take out a lot of like varmints to protect my food. And I was like, well, what if my, the game isn't growing food and defending against critters. What if the game is growing food to kill critters? Like the primary purpose isn't growing food to sustain myself. The primary purpose is growing food to lure critters in to give them the old. And I was like, oh, okay, I gotta just change the game. Cause like the other day when I, the other morning when I got up and my, my zucchinis were dead I was I got super bummed again for a minute and I was like dude this blows like those whatever those are right there they're getting hammered by some by the critters right and um so I'm trying I'm trying I'm not I'm not giving up but I'm like also like it's kind of defeating on like a level like because you're like you know you could i know i could be yielding lots more like my soil like my augment my amended soil that i did is killing it look at it 
except except it's getting hammered. Everything that I'm growing in abundance is getting hammered by little critters. Like I got pretty much the bunny rabbit thing under control. They aren't a thing, but I got these like they're whip tailed pocket mice that come in there and they 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 get through the the chicken wire, which the bunny rabbits don't. I think I got the gophers pretty much at bay on a certain level, but I'm like, okay, I need to get the quarter inch mesh and put that all around too. It's just like, it doesn't stop. And I was like, I just got to change the game. And the reason I grow the food is not to eat the food. It's to kill the critters. What do you think about that, mama? Not impressed at all with that idea, are you? She's like, you're a, you're a stupid human, man. Just keep the hay coming. Yeah. She's like, dude, I'll break that fence down if I have to. But um, so I was like, oh, I got to change the game a little bit. Perception. I mean, look at it, dude. Like, I, I look at it. I'm like, yeah, dude. But it's it's it could be doing a lot better. I think uh, I think I think I'm uh, I'm already saying we're like next year, next year. But uh, I guess I'm learning. I guess I I, that I do. I have to battle with that thing. It's like I'm supposed to be good at this, but I'm not. So I got to learn and I'm learning. But the the defeats, the defeats in this growing your own food thing have been been pretty monumental, man. I have, I have to say it's, it's been psychological warfare too. It's, it's a lot, dude. It's a lot to come out and see what you've grown just getting smoked. Like, like I thought I was pretty good on the zucchini, the zucchinis. And I came out and I was like, and I thought I'd forget that one of the, I thought it was weird because I thought one of the hoses was jammed up my little watering thing. And so I fixed it and like gave it a bunch of water. I came back like later that afternoon. The other half, the other part, because it's like a two, there were two seeds in there. The other half of the plant was gone. I was like, dude. And then the next day, no. so we're on a, we're on it. Like I got the watering thing kind of figured out. So that's making that easier. But dude, it's gnarly. This, this like trying to like homestead, like if you're, if my life depended upon this, like we're doomed. The critter thing is beyond my comprehension. Like realistically, I, I guess it wouldn't be a problem if I wrapped the entire thing. I mean, it's a pretty small plot. It's, it's like, maybe it's 50 feet by 50 feet. I guess that's fairly big in square footage, 50 feet by 50 feet, right? What is it? A 16, yeah, it's 50 feet by 50 feet, roughly. That's 2,500 square feet, but 50 feet by 50 feet, so linear feet, that, that's 200 linear feet. So if I got the fencing, that's 200 bucks just in the, in the quarter inch stuff of the four foot high, dig it down put that all the way around and then if you really wanted to get slick i guess you gotta i don't know dude it's gnarly i mean i guess it's doable i don't even know how much it's like funny it's like this the most expensive vegetables on the planet <laughs> <laughs> With the super gnarly kill rate, man. The amount of the amount of critters I've taken out this it's about to be summer in a couple days. Oh, maybe tomorrow, dude. Is it tomorrow? Is it full moon and solstice tomorrow? Something like that, right? The amount of critters I've had to take out this spring have been gnarly. But I guess it's been a full problem. I guess it's a bloom. A critter bloom, so everybody's experiencing it, dude. So Whatever. My my cattle rancher friend, he lost ten head of cow to recently to pneumonia. They just dropped dead. I mean that's that's gnarly, dude. It's all gnarly. This trying to live off the land thing is gnarly, dude. Super gnarly. I got a video coming up after this one of us putting the uh 
put in the castration bands on Brownie, dude. Denutting, denutting the new boy goat. Keep him around, man. Just wanted to keep him around, dude. These these billy goats are pretty pretty gnarly. Anyway, this is the illusion. Um, links down below. Get some t-shirts, yo, dude. Support the dream. We're trying. I'm battling, dude. It's 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 warfare on the front lines of trying to get off the grid and and be self-sustaining. Brutal. Warfare. Warfare. At least Al's practicing his drums, dude. I lost the beat. I always have a new beat going. <laughs> that dude. What he got going? Look at this dude. Y'all come see it. Look at it. Look at it. 